Hello. Wow, it's been a year since our last Q&A. Exactly a year, That's to crazy. be honest, because it was June 2019. We're like so close to 25K now. And so I was like, we have so many new people on this channel. So, and we get asked a lot of questions about ourselves under our comments. Yeah. So I thought that it would be nice to do an updated Q&A, especially because I rewatched our old Q&A and many things have changed since then. One, we've gotten into many, many more groups, so we have a lot more Too groups. many. <laughs> Two, almost every bias that Kim said has changed since then because she's not a loyal person. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Three, she has black hair now. That's true. Anyway, just thought we'd give you an update. First off, there's gonna be some repeat questions from last time, which I don't mind answering again, but you guys can also go watch the old video if you want to hear answers in that one too. But this question says, how did you guys meet? Uh, we met in high school. Junior year of high school. Yes. She made me fail math class. I did not make her fail she did. math class because I passed. She just didn't want to pass. Um, that's wrong. I think <laughs> you're calling me dumb. But I ended up retaking the math class. And you senior. passed. Barely. I barely graduated high school. <laughs> Next question, also school related. Did you go to college? And if so, what did you major in? We didn't go to college. We're currently in school, both of us. Well, I I did go to school once. And I did too for a month. <laughs> and then I dropped out. I went to beauty school, got an esthetician license when I was like 18. And I did makeup for a long time until pretty much like a year ago, I kind of decided to stop alter my course and then I enrolled in university and now I'm a psychology major. And then Kim, like a year after high school, I went to community college for like a month and I hated it and dropped out. School is just not for me. But currently I am in school to become a massage therapist. In April of 2021, I'll have my certificate. We both had a quarter life crisis and we both completely decided to change exactly what we were doing. Exactly. So if you haven't hit your quarter life crisis yet, get ready for it. If you don't have a goal in life yet, don't worry. Like it literally comes to you. You're gonna turn 25 and it's gonna be like, bam. And like, whoa. <laughs> Who is your ultimate K-pop group and what non-K-pop artists do you like to listen to? Oh, interesting. My ults are BTS. My ult is Stray Kids. And then non-K-pop, I don't really listen to a lot of American music very much. I mainly only listen to K-pop or reggaeton. I like reggaeton artists and my favorite is probably Daddy Yankee. Kim listens to a variety. I listen to, I listen to like everything. I really like Post Malone. I really like Billie Eilish. I really like Ariana Grande. I'll listen to like anything that's like popular, so like mainstream, I guess. But K-pop is what I listen to like all the time. Yeah. Who is your ultimate bias? Hyunjin of Stray Kids. <laughs> that was so quick. Yeah, I love him. Jimin of BTS. What concerts are you like we need to go? <clears throat> oh, well, oh, well, go currently, ahead, currently our BTS tickets are on hold. When this all lifts, BTS, number one. BTS. <clears throat> our AT tickets are also on hold. So, AT is number two. We have still never been to an SF9 concert, mm -hmm. so that would be very nice. We um, need to see CIX. Yes, six. which them. I had tickets for that and then it got cancelled, of course. We recently got into Victon. Yes, I would love to see them. Yep. I need to see TXT. Again. I need to see Stray Kids all the time. Wavy. Oh, I need to see Wavy. Got Seven. Mm -hmm. Again. Always. There's not many K-pop concerts that we would say no to. Yeah. I'm not a huge listener of like Day 6 or The Rose, but I still went to their concerts last year and it was a blast. It was so much fun. Oh, can you tell us who your bias is in every group and who your bias record is? Because I want to know all your faves. Oh my god, we're gonna be here for 20 hours. I say we only list like our main groups. BTS. Mm -hmm. Bias is Jimin. Wreckers are Taekook. Biases are <laughs> Tae, Jungkook, and Yoongi, and my wrecker is Jimin. <laughs> Half the group, but whatever. <laughs> Stray Kids. Bias is Hyunjin. My records are Mino and Jisung. My biases are Felix and Jisung, and my record is Mino. Victon, which we finally finalized. My bias is Sejun, and my record is Byungchan. My biases are Chan and Sungwoo, <laughs> and my records are Sejun and Subin. Again, half the group. <laughs> I can't pick! TXT, bias is Yeonjun, mm -hmm. and Wrecker is Subin. And my bias is Subin, and Wrecker is Yeonjun. <laughs> Bongi was making his way up to Wrecker though, so... But as of right now, it's still Yeonjun. It's Yeonjun, yes. Yeah. Six, CIX, the girl with their government name. My bias is Beijing. My Wrecker is Yangi. That's right, I forgot you solidified that. I did solidify oh that. I know, it took a while. Oh my god, I forgot. It took a while, but then I realized that I have like a really, really big soft spot for him, so I was like, I think he's 
Okay, my bias is Sunghoon and my record is Hyunsung. Got seven. Bias is JB and Wrecker is Bam Bam. And bias is Bam Bam and Wrecker is JB. <laughs> Wavy. Wavy. Bias is Win Win and Wrecker is Yang Yang. So the, the doubles. I like the doubles. Mm -hmm. Bias is Hendry and Wrecker is Yang Yang. Y'all, she went from being a Lucas bias to him not even not even <laughs> being Wrecker or Bias. <laughs> Hendry. Hendry. SF9. Bias is Jaehyun. Wrecker is Hui Young. Bias is Hui Young and Wrecker is Taeyang, which just recently switched. Oh, whatever, stop it. It used me. to be the opposite. ATs. ATs. Bias is Son and Wrecker is Hong Joon. Bias is Mingi and Wrecker is Hong Joon. And then Woo Young. Woo Young is my best friend. Yeah, Woo Young is our best friend after the Hello 82 event. Yes. That's our like main, main groups. <laughs> okay. Can you explain how K pop changed your life? Oof. Like what things you wouldn't have ever thought before, like, oh, I want to go to Korea, or maybe experiences, not including concerts, that you wouldn't have had if you weren't into K pop? K pop has, in like the weirdest way, educated me on a lot of things. I made a lot of new best friends through K pop. I've met so many other people on Twitter or like at concerts and stuff and became really good friends with them, so my life changed in that aspect. It's crazy how you could be in a very, very sad mood and depending on who you're into, you know, your mood can switch just like that. K-pop kind of grabbed me, but what made me stay was the members, of, like personalities and how interactive K-pop is. Yeah. It's huge. Yeah. When I first got into K-pop, it was June of 2017, the first week of June. So it was right when Festa started. And so I was like bombarded with all this content every day and I had no idea what was going on. But I was so confused as to why they were giving out new content every day. And now, like I know now everything that goes on, but back then I was like, whoa, yeah. like is this, this K-pop? This is just a thing you just get like new content like yeah. every day. I taught myself how to read and write in mm -hmm. Hangul. So just a lot of things have changed. Yeah. And like this channel, we would never have made a never YouTube made channel. channel. I would probably have more money. A lot more money, <laughs> yeah. My credit cards would not But it's fine. Be. It's worth it. They say you can't buy happiness. <laughs> <laughs> Top three songs on Map of the Soul 7. Oh! My Time, Inner Child, and oh, Duh. <laughs> Black Swan, Friends, and... Uh, either filter or ugh. They're so polar I opposites. Like, I know, but I know, but I can't. Top five music videos of the past year. Five? Mayday by Victon. On by BTS. Which one? The music video. The music video. I love all the biblical references. This is hard. I'm surprised you're not saying Ace. <laughs> oh, when did Undercover come out? Last year? Yeah. Undercover is definitely number one. Undercover? Undercover? Miro by Stray Kids. Good video. Please. When their album comes out on the 17th, my 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 thing is gonna change because they're coming out with all these like the unveil tracks, so they're all gonna there's just so many videos. They love me. On by BTS, Puma by TXT, Mayday by Victon, Not by the Moon by Got7, and Movie Star by Six. Mm. Honorary mention goes to RPM with SF9. Miro by Stray Kids. Oh my god by Giddle or G Idol. Adios by Everglow. Oh, I loved that video. Or Dun Dun. Honestly, both of those were really good. Honestly, maybe Give Me More by VAV. Mm. That video was really good too. Okay. Do you guys have an Instagram? Yes, it's on our channel. Um, it's in the beginning of this video. It's on our actual channel. It's on our channel it's in the, the description. Mm -hmm. It's all over. What are your favorite outfits? For music videos. I've said this a lot. I really, really like royal dark concepts like Blood, Sweat, and Tears. Oh, you love the suits with no shirt. And the, and not just the suits, but the like track pants, halters, mm. and like clips and everything. When it comes to boy groups, I love streetwear or like street casual baggy t shirts or like mic drop. Like mic drop mm. or like double knot stray kids. Mm. I love that. I'm like very attracted to that. When it comes to girls, like I would pretty much wear anything that Blackpink wears. I also like everything that uh, Mama Moo wears. Yeah, Mama Moo. Mama really, Moo. Really cool, <gasps> very unique style. What's your favorite reaction? that you have done so far. Our own favorite reaction of ours. I watch all of our reactions. I think uh, we're silly. I honestly um, really like rewatching our reaction videos. I like they make me laugh when I'm watching them back. One of my favorites is RPM <laughs> when we're trying to guess what RPM stands for. Our reaction to Blue Flame by Astro. Oh yeah. It's so funny. I like our reaction to Mayday. Oh, I love our reaction to Can't You See Me? <laughs> yes. Our reaction to uh in our BTS album reaction. That's great. Our reaction to Wusok. Oh yeah. Um, Red Moon. Red Moon. 
don't know. We have a lot of like really, really silly ones that like make me laugh every time. AT's really Wonderland. I love that one. Which K-pop idol is your ideal type? Which K-pop idol is your ideal type? <laughs> I feel like that just goes for our olds, yeah. right? Physically and personality wise. Personality wise. Personality wise, Jimin. Physically also Jimin. The only thing that I usually like in real life <laughs> go for more is like because I'm five seven. Yeah. I usually would prefer a guy who's significantly taller than me. But I mean, other than that, Jimin. <laughs> uh, ideally, in a perfect world. Hyunjin, Jungkook, Hendery, but boys like that aren't real, so. Yeah, that's why we're still single. <laughs> <laughs> wow, how fun was this? Yeah, thanks for watching this if you sat all the way through it. You're still here. <laughs> I hope that you learned some stuff about us. If you have any other questions you want us to answer, you can just leave them in the comments. The comments are Instagram, like and subscribe. Thank you for almost 25K. Yes, oh my God. Um, when we started this channel, we literally never thought we'd get that much in a year. Our goal, by the end of one year was to be at 10k and we are almost at 25 so thank you so, so much yeah, thank um you. we'll see you in our next video